Okay, today I'll be doing a uh, pseudo unboxing. Pseudo because, well, I've already opened it and had my fun with it. If you've seen my last video, I've already did a uh, video on the M85. It's a, uh, a cheaper backyard quality, I guess, is what you want to call them, the little cheapo plasticky ones. I uh, paid 35 for that one at a yard sale. This one's a little bit more expensive, and this one is considerably higher quality. The difference between this one and this one is this one achieves all of its weight and feel from a big metal slug about that thick in the handle. This one is actually all, well not really all, but for the most part metal and really highly quality constru constructed and almost a spec on everything. An untrained eye would see this gun and think it is, holy god, it, that thing is real, get that thing away from me. This is a Echo One Stag 15 series. No, I'm not sure what the Mod 4 TC means. I guess that's the stock design because they also make the same gun with the collapsible stock. M16, M14, depending on which branch you're in. This is everything it came with. This is everything it came with aside from one part, the orange tip. Unfortunately, it was not a... Uh, easy to remove orange tip. It was a permanently installed orange tip and I wanted to put the uh, black tip on there and find another orange tip that's also but compatible so I can swap them out depending on what I'm doing and what regulations are for matches and such. Let's see here. Warranty information. Your basic on jammer rod. High quality batteries. I've yet to have to put these on another charge, they're still on their first charge, it's amazing how how good the battery is. As you can even see, this having it unraveled the uh, charger cord, it's still stock raveled. Little clip. Really cool thing about uh, this clip, you, you know, it's high capacity, but the really cool thing is not only does it's got this little thumb wheel, I have it sitting right here. I forgot to put it back in the box. So, I guess that's a pseudo unboxing. Excuse my snacks. It comes with this little uh, butterfly hatch wingy thingy here. This is much easier to do with two hands here. Or you can just put that in there and wind it up with this thing instead of sitting there tearing your thumb apart on one of those. Makes the uh, winding process go by a lot quicker. Very high quality gun. This is a much tougher plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic, but everything else, metal. Oh, okay, the handle is plastic too, but all the little parts on it, every little screw, the actual uh, the uh, gear assembly, all that's metal. It's not plastic. This is actually a functional piece here. I'm, everything on this gun is functional, except and this is like one of the parts in the gun that's not actually functional. It's just a on a real gun that's actually for helping on jamming, but this gun is just cosmetics. Even this little uh, little hatch here, that's actually functional. This is hiding your hop up adjuster. Sorry for the lighting, blocking the light. That's actually hiding your hop up adjuster, and <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. Here, pop our clip in. As you may have seen on box, it's a automatic electronic rifle, which is AEG, which is one of the more commonly used ones. Gas is okay, but gas is ungodly expensive. Why go gas? We can get your batteries and charge them for free. Iron sights. Got two different modes. Flip that, and you got much finer hole. I guess it's more more precision snipering type. My only complaint: tactical. I, I've you know I've had laying around. Didn't come with no mounts. There's no way to mount this. So I'll have to get extra mounts, extra accessories to actually mount the thing. Yeah, it's a pretty freaking bright light. 
But there's no, uh, it didn't come with a stock way of, mount, of mounting lights in any way. The strap it came with was kind of a little dinky. In fact, I think it broke, which is why it's not in the box. I think I already trashed it because the, uh, the ends broke, so they were kind of, yeah. Oh, I didn't plan on using it too much anyway. It was too, uh, too limbery for me. I needed something a little stronger. I haven't quite yet figured what this is out. I think this is for some other type of strap that you can put on it. I'm assuming that's what that's for. Where you put the battery. In here. Surprisingly, this thing's pretty roomy. Oops. It's really hard to review a larger, heavier gun with one hand here. I'm trying to do the best I can. This actually came undone once, but it was just a little quick connect, pop it back in, uh, pull the buttstock off, pop it right back on, and it worked just fine. Get together, yo. I guess that's in. It's got a little inline fuse there. some sort of achievement for doing this for one hand. Well, I guess that's not going to happen, so I don't deserve that achievement. Put the camera down real quick so I can load up this battery. And in there. Record. And there we go. See if I can fire off a round without pissing everyone off. Something like my pillow. Oh yeah, it's got some kick to it. It's got plenty of power. I'll show you accuracy. As you can see, it's completely dark outside, and hey, you can see me. <laughs> it's a really nice gun. I paid. It was a Black Friday deal. It was originally priced 150 bucks, but it was 10% off, so. I've got a heck of a deal on that. I've got a free ammo. I think it's a thirty dollars worth of ammo every month. I actually should be start, should go pick that up here soon. <laughs> I get free thirty dollars worth of ammo every month, but there's a catch. I have to spend twenty five dollars in accessories for it. You know, that's catch twenty two. But hey, you can't you can't be free ammo. It's from a if you're around Cincinnati, Ohio. It's a place called a uh, what the heck was it? I'll have to look it up and put it in annotations here on the screen. I'll even post the link so you can just click it. And uh, that's my review on the uh, Stag 15 series Echo 1 M16 M14 rifle. Unfortunately, the M1 without the collapsible stock. I think the one that has the collapsible stock, the battery assembly, is in here. Which I'll show you how you would access. holding the camera with my mouth, <laughs> not exactly sanitary, you just pull back that little ring, and those pop off, and that's where the battery would be. Oh, the tip, it came with this metal tip, the original orange tip that was on it was plastic, and by law it had to be permanently attached, so I had to uh, use force of tools to get the thing off, aka my Dremel, so that was a little tricky getting off. I was hoping to be able to reuse it, but looks like I won't be able to. So I'm going to have to get me another replaceable orange tip so I can swap them out for, depending on what the case may be. That is the Echo 1 Stag 15 M16 slash M14 rifle with the permanent buttstock. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully this video has encouraged you to like or dislike this gun. I personally like it. It's basic of a, uh, you know, when people think, them, you know, of a machine gun, this is what they first envision. This is the basic of machine gun. This is this gun's got plenty of history. And personally, I, this is just my, the model I like, the, uh, you know, over any other models. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you.